Hello everyone, this is Zook and today I'm bringing you a new drawing video. This one is going to be some sort of skull emblem thing that has no particular meaning. It's just something I came up with for myself as practice, trying to draw a few different uh, textures and surfaces. Lately I've been very obsessed with digital painting and getting better at it. I'm like, I don't think I've ever been this uh, enthralled by it in the last years, not even when I first got the, the tablet. But I am fully determined to to do well with it and try and practice as much as humanly possible and get to a stage where I where my standards are met because looking back at the stuff I've put on the channel it was fine some of it some of it was actually really really good some of it was pretty bad but most of the time I didn't quite care much if if it was up to par but lately I can't put anything up unless I'm like fully comfortable with it and not even then is it good if I take a few hours break and then come back and look at it I can spot like 10 different things that I would change some contrasts don't really work out some colors are fucked up but I have to do something else I'm gonna spend like two weeks painting the same thing over and over and over again until I'm comfortable with it and that's not really healthy for anyone my girlfriend has has had to deal with my uh, dramas pertaining to creativity lately I like keep calling her over and asking her is this right does this look okay to you is this so yeah i'm, I'm pretty hyped about uh, about getting better at this it's about goddamn time i did so anyway let's talk about this particular drawing i started off with the idea of doing it in comic style with outlines uh i've been watching this guy called brian allen i think lately and he has a really cool style draws uh, with outlines and it's something that I thought I would be naturally good at because I've done a lot of outline style drawings in the past on the channel and they worked out quite well. But the problem with this is I go full retard when it comes to coloring it. Like I have no idea how to properly color something with outlines. Not that I have a better idea how to color it without outlines, don't get me wrong. But having the outlines just make it seems, see, makes it seem infinitely more difficult. So I fumbled around with this for like six hours i think with outlines trying to redraw it recolor it over and over and over again and eventually i gave up the outlines because i'm still more leaning towards the the world of warcraft style of art the cartoony with bright colors and very sharp contrast and all that so i wanted to give it a shot without outlines and see what comes of it and it it started working out pretty well even without it obviously i'm not fully comfortable with uh with the way you draw on a tablet just yet and my biggest problem is getting the contrast right a rule of thumb that I keep reading over and over is to have your picture on a 50% gray background because having it on white is just too overpowering like the white is too bright to to make it seem like it fits in the atmosphere and black is also not good enough because it's the exact effect of white only opposite it's just too dark so I tried drawing this on a on a gray background, but when I put it on a darker one, the contrast still wasn't right. There's just a lot of... I feel like I'm missing some some secret that other people have solved when it comes to digital painting. It's like, I can see people doing it, I can see how they do it. I can think like, oh, I could so do this myself. But when it comes down to actually doing it it just doesn't work it, it like i sit there and draw the same thing over and over again and it just doesn't come out well so hopefully in time with practice i'll get better but for now i think this is a a good example of uh how to start out at least <clears throat> i know i've been doing this for a while but i was much more pleased with my pencil drawings than i am with my output of digital ones however i'm pretty much at the point where i i kind of stopped drawing in pencil which I know some people don't like because they came here for that sole reason, but I think that digital just has a lot better applications than pencil. It's just, it's infinitely more versatile and fixing mistakes is much better and stuff just, I think, looks more interesting when drawn digitally. So that's just my thing. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm gonna start doing more of these kind of practice drawings with a lot of stuff that I like, not trying to copy any more characters because it's it's gotten to the point where I'm kind of I, I'm not playing much right now, so I have no characters to that are actually interesting to me. I've pretty much covered or covered <laughs> drawn all the characters so far that I found interesting, intriguing, that had an interesting backstory or that I personally liked. 
So I'm at the point where I'm, I have nothing to draw right now from what's out there already. So I have to just come up with some stuff that benefits the obtaining of further skill, such as, you know, various surfaces like metal combined with plastic, with wood, with uh, steel, skulls, bones, that sort of stuff. And try and get the hang of how all of this stuff fits together so it doesn't look too plasticky. I think that the main problem that I've noticed in my, my pictures is that stuff looks like it's made of plastic. It's way too smooth. It's not textured enough. And when it, I try to make it textured, it all comes out muddy and just dirty. You know, it doesn't have that crisp, crispness that uh, established artists have managed to achieve in their paintings. It's just, it looks muddy. So <clears throat> that's a problem that I'm, I'm working on and hopefully it'll solve itself. So let's talk about other stuff. Uh, today has actually been a pretty sad day. I lost one of my pet rats. I had two rats which I got in March, and one of them was uh, was kind of unfriendly and kind of antisocial, but the other one was just like a sweetheart. He would play, and he wasn't afraid of anything, and he would uh, he was very cute. And he died today, the one that was actually friendly, about half an hour ago, actually, as of recording this video. So that was quite sad. We put him in a box and took him out to dispose of him. So it remains to be seen how the the second rat will will fare because these animals are quite social and all the forums say that when you get rats you should get two of them and not uh, a single one because they don't do well in solitude. So hopefully this one won't die of sadness or something, but we'll see. If he does, I'll, I'll just get a couple more and start from the beginning. I guess it's the only thing that can be done. And other than that, uh, not much else going on. I took my girlfriend out for her birthday dinner to this fancy place. Uh, I've been wanting to go to one of these like modernist cuisine restaurants for a long time now and uh, finally got to go, thankfully. Initially, I wanted to go to this place that's like the best restaurant in Prague, but the prices are absolutely ridiculous. I calculated that I would be spending about 400 euros for a single meal for two people. Uh, these restaurants serve small portions, but they usually have a multi-course menu, like 10 dishes or something like that. Ridiculous, so you can taste everything that the chef came up with. So you, you eventually leave there full, but uh, it's deceiving when you look at the menu and see how small these portions are. And obviously they're served on these enormous plates that make everything seem even smaller. But yeah, I went to this kind of like medium medium restaurant. Not really the classiest of them all, but pretty well rated. Had some crazy octopus with uh, some beans and some other shit on the plate there. It was quite good with a gin tonic a foam, and they love their foams, these guys. And it was quite tasty. Also had a beef tartare with uh, some sort of garlic aioli thing on top. Quite good. Beef tartare is basically raw meat mixed with spices and some other stuff in it. With some fries. That was weird. That's usually served with bread, but they served it with fries. Eh, guess it's fine. Uh, then I had a mushroom soup, which was basically a soup that was mushroomy. Nothing too special there, and some sort of tapioca uh, pudding, kind of like a soft panna cotta with uh, uh, mango chutney and uh, coconut ice cream. Quite fancy there. Everything was pretty nice. wasn't ridiculously expensive. It was quite good. Uh, girlfriend had a like a, a pork tenderloin wrapped in pancetta with a mushroom ragu and some spinach gnocchi. Well, that was quite delicious. I wish I had that instead of the fucking beef tartare, but yeah, I had to be the rebel. And uh, that's about it. Quite nice. Might go there again, actually. So that's about it for my experiences. I'm, I'm quite depressed right now after losing my rat. That was quite unexpected. No idea what killed him, though. He just like made some wheezing sounds like he was choking for breath and, and just died. So that's that. But they often have lots of diseases and problems that you don't find out about and... Yeah, gets to them. Gets them quite fast. They only live two years in the best possible conditions anyway, so this was like six, six, seven months, and he went. So anyway, hope you found this video somewhat interesting. Please rate that shit if you did, and I'll see you guys for my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.